Okay, how can we arrange for this to happen in real life? Hey guys, Elise from Ms. Mojo here. Today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 meet cutes in movies. I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. For this list, we're looking at some of our favorite movie scenes where couples meet in an adorable and memorable way. Let's get started. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. Number 10, Danielle de Barbarak and Crown Prince Henry II, Ever After. This late 90s reinterpretation of the classic Cinderella fairy tale has got to be one of our favorite romantic comedies of all time, and features a hilarious meet-cute. Set in 16th century France, Ever After stars Drew Barrymore as Danielle, a young woman whose father has passed away who lives with her evil stepmother and stepsisters. Say hello to your new stepsister. Mademoiselle? One day, Danielle spots a man stealing her late father's horse and reacts aggressively, pelting him with apples as he tries to ride away. Oh no, you don't. Soon after, she realizes he's actually the prince, and the love story that ensues, of course, ends in happily ever after. Forgive me, your highness, I did not see you. Your aim would suggest otherwise. Number 9, Captain Von Trapp and Maria, The Sound of Music. While there are many themes going on in this 1965 classic, at its heart, The Sound of Music is a love story. They may seem like an unlikely pair, especially when they first meet, but Captain Von Trapp and Maria have gone down in history as one of the best film couples. Why do you stare at me that way? Well, you don't look at all like a sea captain, sir. I'm afraid you don't look very much like a governess. Maria is hired to be the governess for Captain Von Trapp's children, and upon arriving at his sprawling home, she realizes that she's in for quite an experience when she meets the stern man who has a special whistle for his kids. I'm placing you in command. Yes, sir. They may seem like polar opposites, but hey, we know what they say about those. Do allow me, will you? Mm -hmm. Number 8, Troy Bolton and Gabriela Montez, High School Musical. Who's gonna rock the house next? Huh? <laughs> yeah. A meet cute is what kicked off this entire adorable Disney franchise. Hey, you know what? Someday, someday you guys might thank me for this. Or not. High schoolers Troy and Gabriella are both on break from school when they have a chance encounter at a ski lodge on New Year's Eve. They inadvertently end up singing a duet together during a karaoke session, which results in the tune Start of Something New. This could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Of course, this won't be the last they see of one another, because when school is back in session, they're both attending East High School, because Gabriella has just moved to town. Hey, I don't believe it. Oh, me neither. But how? Well, my mom's company transferred her here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here. Number seven, Kathleen Kelly and Joe Fox, You've Got Mail. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan may be best known for starring together in the romantic comedy Sleepless in Seattle, but they were at it again in 1998 when they co-starred in the more modern movie You've Got Mail. Dear friend, I like to start my notes to you as if we're already in the middle of a conversation. I pretend that we're the oldest and dearest friends as opposed to what we actually are, people who don't know each other's names. They start out as internet pen pals, not realizing that they actually live in the same New York neighborhood. I go online and my breath catches in my chest until I hear three little words. You got mail. When they meet for the first time in real life, it's at Kathleen's bookstore, and the two don't realize they're meeting the person that they've been chatting with online. May I ask who you are? Kathleen Kelly, I own this store, and you are... Joe. Just call me Joe. Things take a bad turn after that, but it's a rom-com, so you know there's a happy ending. Don't cry, shop girl. Number 6, Iris Simpkins and Arthur Abbott, The Holiday. We didn't say all meet-cutes had to be romantic. In the Christmas movie The Holiday, Kate Winslet's character Iris switches homes with Cameron Diaz's character Amanda and finds herself spending the holiday season in Los Angeles. Okay. We are on. <laughs> Two weeks. Starting 
tomorrow. One day when she's driving around her new neighborhood, she spots an elderly man who seems lost. Hello. Can I offer you a lift home? Why? You know where I live? Uh, I, I believe I do, yes. Good. Then that makes one of us. She offers him a lift home and soon discovers that he's a renowned Hollywood screenwriter. Well, this was some neat cute. <laughs> Sorry? It's how two characters meet in a movie. The reason this scene is so memorable is that he identifies their meeting as a meet cute and explains to her exactly what the term means. Well, goodbye then. I enjoyed our meet cute. Well, thank you. Thank you for rescuing me. Number five, John Tyree and Savannah Lynn Curtis, Dear John. You can definitely count on a Nicholas Sparks movie for a good meet cute. John is a soldier on leave surfing at the beach when he sees a group of young people on the pier. One of the girls accidentally drops her purse into the water, and while her male companion takes the long way around to go get it, John jumps right in to retrieve it for her. It's a bold and romantic gesture for someone he's never met before. But of course, this is just the beginning of their dramatic love story. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, gosh, what a mess. Water, you are a lifesaver. I'm Savannah. John. Number four, Harry Burns and Sally Albright when Harry met Sally. Oh, hi, Sally. Sally, this is Harry Burns. Harry, this is Sally Albright. Spending 18 hours trapped in a car together is definitely a good way to get to know someone fast. Harry and Sally are college graduates who end up carpooling between Chicago and New York together in 1977. I have it all figured out. It's an 18-hour trip, which breaks down into six shifts of three hours each, or alternatively, we could break it down by mileage. There's a, there's a map on the uh, visor that I've marked to show the locations where we can change shifts. Great. Harry is Sally's friend's boyfriend, and the two spend the entire drive talking about everything, including how Harry thinks men and women can't be friends. You realize, of course, that we can never be friends. Why not? What I'm saying is, and this is not a come on in any way, shape, or form, is that men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. They may not be best friends at the end of their journey, but over the years, as they keep meeting over and over again, Harry is proven right, at least in their case. I really hate you. Number three, Elizabeth Bennet and Fitzwilliam Darcy, Pride and Prejudice. So which of the painted peacocks is almost a big Well, he's on the right, and on the left is his sister. Not only is this one of the best movie meet cutes, but one of the best meet cutes in all of fiction. Can you dance, Mr. Darcy? Not if I can help it. In the classic tale of Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet meet at a dance, and Darcy offends Elizabeth by making negative remarks about her. Fairly tolerable, I dare say. He's not handsome enough to tempt me. There have been countless interpretations of this scene, but the 2005 version starring Kira Knightley and Matthew McFadden is our favorite. Count your blessings, Lizzie. If he liked you, you'd have to talk to him. Precisely. <laughs> While this may be the furthest thing from love at first sight, it almost makes their romance all the more believable. Number two, Forrest Gump and Jenny Curran, Forrest Gump. Not all meet cutes end with happily ever after. As Forrest Gump sits on a park bench reminiscing about his life, he recalls the moment he met his beloved Jenny. I don't recall what I got for my first Christmas, and I don't know when I went on my first outdoor picnic, but I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice in the wide world. As he boarded the school bus and looked for a place to sit, she offered him a spot beside her when no one else would. You are going to sit down, aren't you? He was touched when she seemed curious about his life, since according to him, no one but his mother asked him questions. I just sat next to her on that bus and had a conversation all the way to school. Their relationship may have been a troubled one fraught with tragedy, but we'll always remember this adorable first meeting and how they went together like peas and carrots. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. There really is nothing cuter than two kids having a meet cute on a school bus. Okay, our number one pick is the most swoon worthy of them all, but before we get to it, here are a few honorable mentions. No! Oh, oh God! What is this? Okay. Okay, you stay where you are. 
We have a knife. Do you live here? No, 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 I'm not scared of... Jesus! Ah! Michael, don't laugh at me. What? No, I'm in an accident. I got in an accident. Yeah. I was assigned this. This was not even my pitch. Right. So you're doing the article on me? Mm-hmm. Awesome. You know, why don't you try this? It's kind of a hinge. Now, why didn't I think of that? Oh, oh well, that'll teach me not to put my hand where it doesn't belong. Something tells me it won't. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jack Dawson and Rose DeWitt Bucator, Titanic Some meet-cutes are definitely darker than others. In James Cameron's 1997 epic Titanic, Rose feels trapped in the life she's been handed and has nothing left to live for when she decides to throw herself off the edge of the ship into the frigid Atlantic below. Don't do it. Stay back! Don't come any closer! Luckily, third-class passenger Jack sees Rose at the right moment, convincing her to reconsider her choice. You're distracting me! Go away! I can't. I'm involved now. You let go and I'm, I'm gonna have to jump in there after you. It's definitely not your conventional cute meet cute but it kicks off one of the best movie romances of the modern day. I'm flying! Jack! I mean, Jack and Rose are only one of the most iconic movie couples of all time. Obviously, we had to put them number one. What'd you guys think of our list? What are some of your favorite movie meet-cutes? Let us know in the comments below and check out this video.